Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to properly install All in Arma, a modification for Arma 3 that allows you to run official Arma 2, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead content in game without any flaws. All in Arma brings a vast amount of content from Arma 2 into Arma 3, such as weapons, vehicles, and AI. By following the tutorial to the best of your abilities, you should be able to run official Arma 2 missions on the new Arma 3 engine without any issues from the AI. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to make sure you're able to use All in Arma successfully is you need to own a legal version of Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. If you do not own either of these games, I recommend to go purchase them from Steam. They're actually quite cheap now. If you want to get a free version of Arma 2 and the cheaper alternative to just getting Operation Arrowhead, you can go onto their website for Bohemia at their website and download their applications. It shouldn't take so long to uh, purchase them, but it's quite easy. Just get them either from Amazon, whatever you feel comfortable with here. Um, once you purchase Combined Ops as well with Arma 2, it should come with all the DLCs. So you shouldn't have to worry about buying these separate. No. The main program we're actually going to need for all in Arma in general is a program called Play with Six. And you can find this by typing in Play with Six on Google websites, playwithsix.com. And here you should see Download Play with Six in the top right. We're going to click on this. No, it's going to download the client. Alright, so we're going to run the EXE. Now, I already have mine installed, so this isn't going to be an issue quite right now. So you're just going to go through the standard installation anywhere on your hard drive. Um, it really doesn't matter if it's on your hard drive or a solid state. It's going to install anywhere you want it. Once it's installed, you need to configure it with the two games so you need to run it at least once on each game from Steam so if you just purchased Arma 2 run it through Steam or run on the desktop applications one at a time now once you've per done all that the game has been purchased what you're going to do is you need to verify both of them with Play With 6 in order to uh, automatically get it with all in Arma so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to find your game itself. Now, this is done through going through your tools, your settings, game settings. And depending what game you have selected, that's what it's going to select. So right now I have Arma 3. So obviously all my settings for Arma 3 came up. So we're going to select Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Settings. game settings and what you're going to do with your game directory is you're going to set one of the directories to the main folder so as we can see here I have it my C drive program files x86 by default we have the steam folder steam apps common arma 2 operation arrowhead and you're going to do the same exact things where you want the mods and uh, sync queue directories to be implemented so I put them both here in the main Arma 2 folder, same exact one as this. So this one's good now. Now next one we need to do is going to be Arma 2. It's quite simple, just find the game. So we can see Arma 2 Original, Arma 2 Free depending on what version you got. So I have Arma 2 Original. I purchased it. So I click on this. And from here, we're going to go into Settings, Tools, Settings, Game Settings. And this is actually stored on my E drive where I installed it because my main drive does not have enough memory. So we can see here it has E, Games, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 2. Same concept as the other one. Now, this is the root folder of Arma 2. That's it, just Arma 2. I'm setting it all to the same exact folder and this is good to go now
Next you have to do is select the game for Arma 3. Scroll through, find Arma 3, selected, and you're going to go to your mods. Now in your mods, uh, you should see your featured, as well as you can also search through it. So we're just going to go to the featured as of right now on 10-25-2013. So you would right click and you go to install or you can just double tap on it and you'd see install here. You're going to install it. It's about 50, I'm not quite sure, yeah, about 51.8 megabytes. So it only takes usually under five minutes to download if you have good internet speed. Once this is finished downloading, you're just going to take this and you're going to make sure your ARMA 3 was verified as well. You can go to settings, game, and see where it was installed. Now, by default, it usually sets it to your documents. Now, if uh, you want to move it out of your documents, it's quite easy. You can just go into your documents, find it, and just delete it. And just reset that to your ARMA3 directory in your C drive, find it, the main folder set it there and reinstall it again it'll do it game directory and mod directory now at this point once you have it installed you can launch it and it will start the client now how this works is when you have arma 2 and operation arrowhead installed you have two separate uh, main file locations. You have one that's for all the ARMA 2 content and one for the ARMA Operation Arrowhead content. And what most people on YouTube would be showing is copying the add-ons folders and merging them. One, this takes a while to do. Two, it doesn't work correctly because it's still technically broken. And three, it doesn't launch it correctly being that you're just moving the add-ons and no information so how do you move it successfully well the only way to do that is to run both yeah both thing uh, clients for the content at the same time so from arma 3 instead of running both of them as add-ons they're running externally at the same time uh, through the nice little program that we got with six launcher which is all in arma and that launches both the folders and all the main necessary docs at the same time so when you start up in ARMA 3 there's no texture value errors uh, there's no errors with the AI for the most part and you can play ARMA 2 missions on ARMA 3 without your game crashing from the AI being spawned and without uh, having to worry to play static vehicles because ARMA 2 content was not compatible uh, doing this with All in Arma also opens the array of how much content you have available to you or your community, which is quite the reason why we are starting to move over. So that's pretty much it for the most part on how to install it. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you have any more questions, if you guys are a part of the group, contact me on TeamSpeak at any time, and I'll try to get into further detail with you. If you're just watching this video and you're from an outside source, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try to explain the best I can for more help.